Underground dudes and dudettes, welcome back to uh, oxygen not included. My name, of course, is Obita Potato. Uh, I've skipped forward just another couple of cycles because, as you know, today is the episode where we are hopefully going to go to space. Uh, but in true traditional Orbital Potato uh, style, I, I have to declare, I have to declare that there are a few bits and bobs that I want to do before we get to that point. Right, so, uh, as you can see, this massive uh, tubular system which we are in the middle of constructing is uh, is almost done, actually. The plastic needed, uh, well, maybe another thousand kilograms or so in order to just get us, uh, in order to just get us over there. And that's sort of going well. Uh, at the moment, we're just producing a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of plastic in the polymer press. That's eh, fine. Uh, oil refinery is refining oil at a, at a grand old pace. We got a bunch of petroleum that's on the go. All good. Uh, we also have these slicksters. Uh, the slickster larva has just come out of the uh, the incubator. Now that presents us with a little bit of a problem because now these guys are glum and also overcrowded, uh, and that means that there's going to be less materials uh, produced by uh, by the slicksters. So what I want to try and do is I want to try and move one of the slicksters down into uh, into this area. This is going to be a slightly higher temperature, which. Uh, is going to allow the da, 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 the molten slickster to come into being. Comfort, yeah, so up to 250 degrees Celsius. I mean, even that is a little bit too hot, to be honest. Yeah, wow, that's a... Uh, that is a bit... That is a bit hot. That is a... This area, this area is so unbelievably hot that I have absolutely no idea uh, what has happened over there. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a that's a bit of a yikes to be honest. I think maybe we try and convert this area to what this area should be. I mean, we're going to need to fill it with carbon dioxide. Well, it's already kind of filled with carbon dioxide. Okay. Uh, so yes, this is one of the things that I wanted to get done before we uh, before we head to the moon. So let's indeed get that all done as soon as possible. Let's get this uh, all set up. I want to make this as swift as possible, so let's get it all appropriately prioritized. Let's get a manual airlock in there, mesh tile in there, perfect, and we'll just sort of... Oh, I can't come down over there because there's a pinch of pepper nut that needs to be, needs to be dealt with. Uh, that's also not really what I wanted. I kind of want a nice, a nice sloping a nice sloping effect. Yeah, pretty much just like that. Yeah, grand. Okay, so let's prioritize this all uh, appropriately highly. There we go. And right over here is where I had the uh, critter drop-off point, but I'm going to... I took it down because uh, it was just a little bit too hot to sustain. So we're going to fix that up in just a second. Right, these ladders can be deconstructed no longer necessary. That pipe probably going to need to stay there for the foreseeable future. There we go. And then everything in here is priority nine, so we want to get this done first. Great. Good stuff. Uh, in the base, everything's looking uh, reasonably fine at the moment. We still need a little bit more water. Uh, our water is not really coming through with as much regularity as I would like. Yeah, it's just not happening at a, at a super quick pace, unfortunately. Right, 5.9 degrees Celsius, and we're out of power. We are out of power. How did that happen? There we go. All right, someone, someone go and do that. Yeah, yeah someone, someone go and run, run on the, uh, run on the machine. There we go. Okay, so that should give us at least a little bit more power. At least a little bit more power, which should keep us going for uh, for a little while. Yeah, I want to try and get some proper uh, cooling stuff done uh, in probably the next episode. I don't think that we're going to have the the ability to do it this episode. I don't really want to get a pump set up. I just want to get the confines of the confines of the the room sort of uh, finished. There we go. Cool. Let's get all of this stuff done. Nice, nice, nice. And this is a this is a good temperature. Very, very happy about this. Okay, deconstruct priority nine as well. Fantastic. Good work, everyone. And that is all reachable. That is all doable. 
that's fantastic. Now, we're going to need to get a little bit more plastic in order to get together enough uh, enough to make a critter trap, because at the moment, all of our plastic is being diverted into constructing the massive, 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 massive pipe complex up here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to cancel all of this. And cancel all of that. Yeah, let that fall down a little bit. That's fine. We're going to queue up a critter trap. Now, it doesn't particularly matter which one of these slicksters we trap. Ideally, we trap the youngest one. Well, actually, I say that. That's not really the ideal situation. We want to trap this one, I think. Yeah, that one's slightly older. Right, let's get that built priority nine as well. Grants. Uh, let's go down here, have a little look. This is all looking very, very good, very, very finished. There's a lot of carbon dioxide in, in here. Uh, the high-pressure gas vent can probably be moved up here with relatively little hassle, so that's all good. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the critter drop-off. I want to try and make it right over there. Perfect. Let's make that priority eight because I want this to get done first. There we go. That's all looking good. Yeah, now I'm pretty certain that this is literally going to start overheating very, very fast. Yes, as you can see, the gold is heating up very, very fast. Okay, so let's put this on priority nine. What have we got trapped in here? The critter trap inside is... It's just a regular old slickster. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to slickster priority nine. And let's get that done, please, before it heats up and creates uh, a, a mess of gold on the floor. There we go. Priority 9. Uh, the Critter Trap, I can't even set that at Priority 9. Picked up Slickster. Great. And decant the Slickster. Oh, fantastic. Okay, great. So that solves two of our problems. It solves the uh, overcrowding and glum problem. Means that we're going to be able to get some more... Uh, some more reproduction, 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 whatever the case, you get the picture, right? That's what we're doing. That is absolutely what we're doing, and it's going to work absolutely fantastically. Uh, can I see what type of egg it's going to give us? It should give us a... It should give us the type of egg that we're after, which is the molten larva egg. So that is very, very good. Okay, and finally, the last thing that I need to do is queue up these three ladders for deconstruction. Yep, and then I would like to finally just get a grooming station right over there. Uh, we'll make it out of gold, the overheat temperature. I don't even know what the overheat temperature is of this thing, but it's not going to be very, not going to be very high. We'll try and put it in the coldest bit of the room. That's 112 degrees Celsius. Right, so it's going to be, it's going to be producing a little bit of crude oil for now. Both of them are going to be producing crude oil, which is great. A food shortage, that's okay. We're uh, we're slowly but surely fixing our food shortage over here. I say slowly but surely fixing it. It is happening. We're pumping more and more carbon dioxide into this room, which is what matters, right? It's absolutely what matters. Yeah, but that food shortage is, uh, is not good. However, we got a couple of dust caps that are almost ready to be harvested. There's a little bit of carbon dioxide floating around here, but that's fine. All right, good, fine. It's it's at least something. We can maybe see if we can find a little bit more food tomorrow. But that's okay. That's okay. It's all it's all fine. Can we queue up some of these guys for uh, for 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 meat for meat purposes? Not really. There's water weed harvest. Uh, we're already auto harvesting this, but I'll plop up the priority right over there. Great. All right. Now we just got to wait for this this farm to come into being, and then we should be good. I am honestly surprised at the number of critters that we are able to successfully rear. Like it's going very very well, very very well indeed. Okay, I need to fix the food shortage. That is an absolute priority. Otherwise, today will be our last day ever on this here little planet. Uh, is there any food in, in here? No. There is a Slickster larva. That's real nice. 
That is that is really nice. Uh, are you, by the way, are you going to grow us a, a molten? What is your body temperature? Not quite high enough yet. Right. Yes, you are going to exist over there. That's great. Let's put that at priority eight. I do want to get that sort of trapped and uh, and moved away to slightly to a slightly better area. That's cool. Uh, what can we eat? What can we eat? Not very much because the pitcher pump is out of the water. We don't have the ability to make any lice loaf at the moment. We can't make any tofu. Can we make? We can make some omelets. 16 kilograms of eggs, and we can make some frost buns. Let's make some frost buns, sure. We don't really have the resources to maintain uh, frost bun production for a long time, but that's okay. That's okay. Wow, this, this area is intensely polluted with polluted oxygen. Okay, so that's going to hopefully make enough calories, at least for now. Slickster thing is over there. Critter trap. You're going to literally walk onto it. You noob. Uh, let's stop that there. And let's put Slickster larva right over there. That's on priority 9. So I would fully expect this to be done very, very quickly. And your body temperature is going to continue to rise above the required egg production for molten larva, which is great. Zinzin, Zin, you did a darn good job, I must say. And now we've got two Slicksters in two different pens, which is which is really, really nice. Okay, so, so far we've not really uh, had any success with getting to the moon or the stars or anywhere remotely near uh, space. But that's okay, that's all about to change. I don't quite know, actually, what we need in order to get to space. However, I suspect it's going to be complicated. Right, so there's a couple of space-related things that we've got. Also, uh, I want to set up a steam eating area over here. I want to set up an area where we can just destroy the steam and destroy heat as well. We need to do that with uh, with a turbine. Okay, Virtual Planetarium conducts interstellar research using data from telescopes. Assigned duplicates must possess the planetarium researching trait. The telescope, assigned duplicates must possess, uh, building must be exposed to space to function. Okay, I mean, that's not possible. I mean, it is possible. I mean, do we want to put it right up here? I think we want to put it right up here, however. However, however, however. Let's uh, queue up. Let's queue up that, okay? And then let's make ourselves a... Is it a bunker tile? Can withstand extreme pressures and impacts? Yeah, that's what we need. I need to make some steel because we've only got a little bit of steel at the moment. And then there's bunker doors as well. Now, I want some bunker doors. So if I put a bunker door right about there, right? I put a bunker door there. This is, I think, what you're supposed to do, right? You're supposed to get that right there, that right there. Uh, the, these ladders are going to be deconstructed, sure. And then we'll sort of worry about the rest once we once we get there. Okay, cool. Also, let me straight up just get some more transit tubes. Can't... what? Is that not possible? You can't U-turn in a transit tube. Well, I did not know that. That's a fact that has so far evaded me. Right, good. Well, we'll prioritize that at priority number nine, so at least we're going to be able to get our dupes halfway to the... halfway to the moon? Or halfway to the top of the world, should I say? By the way, the telescope is going to go right under here, as I'm sure you can, uh, as I'm sure you can imagine. Also, I believe there is, yeah, space scanner sends a green signal to the automation circuit when it detect when it detects incoming objects from space. So that's what we need. We need to have a space scanner like right up here. So yeah, to protect the telescope because the telescope is the thing that we need to protect. That is sort of protect the president. That's the plan anyway, so let's see how it goes. Uh, my water situation is deteriorating, but only slightly. It's only slightly in a bad place at the moment. What's your temperature? 93 degrees Celsius? Could do with being a little bit hotter, to be honest. 
but that's okay. Dust caps are growing. That's great. The sleep wheat buns, the frost buns are uh, are slowly but surely making progress. Happy about that. That's good. Carbon dioxide is being pumped out of here and into here. So slowly but surely, we're starting to get the dust caps growing in uh, in this in this area, which is grand. And the transit tube is now fully operational over here. Great stuff. Fantastic, I must say. Right, let's get this prioritized. Priority number nine. Good stuff. That's looking real good. That's looking really, really good. Uh, should we queue up some more steel to be built as well? I think we've got the lime to make it happen. Iron to steel. Oh, no, we don't have the lime. Uh, we've crushed all of the shells that we possibly can. Yeah, bump that up to six. Food shortage. Yeah, I know. Eggshell. We've got a heck of a lot. Fossil to lime. Yeah, apparently we don't have enough. We should. We should have enough. Okay, still got phosphorite. That's good. You guys are all chilling stuff out as much as you possibly can. How are we doing heat-wise within the uh, within the confines of the base? Well, not great, but not not exactly not exactly terribly either. Okay. Yeah, I just need I just need a good I just need a good sized cold area. I know I've already burnt through a lot of my good-sized cold air, cold areas, but uh, but yeah, we're 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 trying we're trying as we're trying as much as we can to to get it to, to get it all sorted. Okay, banana, you are a little bit a little bit under the weather, to be honest. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this over just a smidgen. So gonna get some bunker tiles there and then that goes in there yeah just a little bit easier a little bit easier to make it all all go together okay 500 kilograms of steel that is a heck of a lot of steel that we need in order to make this whole thing work why do we need all of this regolith we don't we just need to clear up all of this all of this space right i think that that is reasonable that is absolutely that is absolutely all that we require Look at this. This is going well. This is going well. This is the transit tube. It's it's working completely as intended. That's great. Happy days. Can we get some more lettuce? By any chance? Critter starvation. That's not my problem. It's another problem for another day. I think, honestly, we're also doing a little bit, uh, a little bit poorly on the whole power front. Not super happy with how little power we're actually managing to produce at the moment. Yeah, could certainly do with a little bit more, a little bit more power over there, but that's okay. The dust caps, that's that's looking good. Atmosphere still over here uh, is polluted oxygen, I believe. Polluted water. Hold on, can I can I get that mopped up? I believe I believe that carbon dioxide sits below polluted oxygen. Yeah, polluted oxygen definitely sits at the top. So the polluted oxygen should just start to, to flow towards the top at some point, and then we should be fine. Once I get all of this stuff swept up, that will, I suspect, rapidly allow all of these dust caps to uh, to start working, or to start growing, should I say? Right, that's all looking very, very nice. Power production, as I said, might be a little bit on the low side, but we'll worry about that uh, in due course. That's not really a priority for now. What is this? Petroleum. How have we got petroleum out here? Not entirely sure. Not entirely sure at all. However, it's good to see that our oil is continuing to, well, flow, really. 800 kilograms of oil, 2,000 grams of oil. That's okay. Yeah, our oil is just continuing to pump up at a uh, at a good decent pace. Yeah, I mean, is there any way that we can go about making this just a little bit faster? I don't think so. What's the temperature of this? Twenty three degrees Celsius. I mean, that's quite a low temperature of uh, of water. But I kind of want to keep the water round and round about down here. So let's. Uh... Yeah, let's do that there. 
don't cancel the deconstruct there. And instead, let's just put a liquid vent right over there, which means that we should be able to sort of circle through a little bit more of our water, a little bit more regularly. Put that priority nine. All right, dig that priority nine as well and dig those two things out as well. It's unreachable at the moment. It will become reachable in just a second and that's priority nine too. Okay, that's good. This area is, uh, this, this, this area is so irritating. It really is. It's, it's notifying me that it's overheated. I appreciate that. I know it's overheated. It's very irritating. Very, very irritating. Right, we're still we're still in a food shortage zone here. I think we need to try and get some more frost buns together. Right, make another 10 frost buns or so. Yeah. I tell you what, it would be good if I could get this power network that I've got, as crazy and as uh, abstract as it looks, connected up here. Then we won't have to worry about powering this area. And that would be a massive plus. Nah, that would be a massive plus. Yeah. That would be... That would be good to get done. Alright, what's your body temperature? 97. It's getting there, and yours is 96. Alright, great. Great stuff. It's clear that, uh, it's clear that, that we are eventually going to get a molten... A molten dude. It's just going to take a little bit of time to do that. Okay, so, with this... We should be able to pump out a lot more, a lot more liquids, a lot more water. So the water is going to filter out, and therefore that's going to mean that we're going to get a bunch more crude oil. Not like it really matters in the grand scheme of things. I mean, we're doing fine for crude oil right now, anyway, so that's fine. Oh look, our our, uh, our generator's been exposed. How great! Right, and let's get rid of that as well, which means that we can just pump up uh, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more oil. Great. That's looking real good. That's looking real, real good. Lots of steam collecting over there. Yeah, I mean, heat in this map, just in general, is a uh, is a pretty big issue. Pretty darn big issue indeed. I think we can probably look to space to try and maybe further solve our heating problems. I mean, I don't know exactly how the physics work, but space is, I mean, pretty cold, but it's difficult to radiate heat. So I don't know if we can perhaps build some uh, some tiles to or some uh, what do you call it the, uh, the 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 radiators the the heat sink tiles the temp shift tiles that's that's the one I don't know if we can perhaps get a couple of temp shift tiles in space and maybe create like a massive uh, heating system that might be that might be just what we're after okay yeah this is. I mean, this this water thing has has worked for sure, but it's not worked as well as 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 well as it once was. I mean, we're still fine for water at the moment, but to be honest, things could be a little bit better. At least we're doing okay for crude oil. That's what matters, right? We're doing fine for food. We're doing fine for crude oil. It's it's working for the most part, and that's what matters. Okay, a couple of little puffs around to patch you over there. Not bothered by that. That's cool. All right. So I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a telescope right over here. Oh, that's a, uh, it's a good thing that I checked, eh? It's gonna have to go in there. That should probably be built priority seven. These guys need to be built priority nine first, and I think that that is unreachable. Yeah. So we're gonna have to build up, uh, well, a ladder, I guess maintenance hatches okay looks good and yeah this stuff is going to be deconstructed because it doesn't really need to be there bunker tile that's cool very cool i feel like we're making progress into space very very ever so slowly and it's exciting it's exciting and it's meaningful right let's get some more steel we need more lime uh, and so we need to excavate more fossil. Can I excavate more fossil, please? I think that's probably one of the best sources of getting lime. Uh, unless we prioritize that a little bit more. Sure. I mean, we've already got loads and loads of fossil. It just takes a heck of a lot of fossil in order to make a little bit of lime. We end up with sedimentary rock. Which I'm, well, 
agnostic about. I'm very, very much don't care about that. I'll take a Dreklet. Sure, we got a wild Dreklet. We can just have him uh, moving around the base. That's that's cool, I guess. Right. Not entirely certain why we needed to revert to the manual generator. That really shouldn't be a thing that we use at all. But it's fine. But it's fine. Okay, can we get the steel built just in case there is a, a, a collision? Oh man, this is looking good. This is looking great. Okay, this is an unreachable dig, apparently, the telescope. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? This is working out fantastically. Okay, great. Uh, the bunker door is still closed. That's fine. We'll deal with that later. We've got lots and lots of iron, at least. And gold and a little bit of copper, I think, we've got uh, on the surface. Perfect. So that's going to get put together just like so. That's great. Yeah, this is a miserable, this is a miserable event. Uh, this is, this whole thing is miserable. Yeah. Temperature really has become a, uh, a, a pretty, a pretty big deal. It's still fine within the, the, the confines of the base. But, I mean, it could be doing a heck of a lot better. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that it will be doing better in time. Yeah, 10 degrees Celsius. It's just... We can't afford to let it get through any colder, you know? We cannot afford to let it get through any colder. Now, we could, of course, get ourselves a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, an aqua thermifier. That's not at all what it's called, but th that was a good attempt, I feel. Uh, d -d 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 it is called... It is called a <laughs> utilities, a thermo aqua tuner. That's what we could get, and we might indeed get that in time. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is fantastic. Right, open star map. Oh my goodness, gracious me, what is this? Space destinations, oh my goodness. Uh, completing analysis on an object will unlock rocket missions to that destination. I have absolutely no idea. Right, let's analyze... Analyze this, okay? And then no gas intake oxygen. Okay, we need to we need to pump in oxygen. Alright, fine. Fine, that's that's okay. And we need to connect power up. I don't know how much power it takes. 120 watts. I mean that's pretty easy to do. Reduced visibility. Yeah, I know. I know it's got reduced visibility, but that's okay. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get the area up and running soon. Very, very soon indeed. Let's prioritize the deconstruction of that as priority number nine. Let's have a ladder out here. That's priority nine two. Let's just get some regular tiles right over there and we can get them upgraded to bunker tiles. In fact, we can get one more bunker tile, but I'm gonna put the bunker tile right over there. Cool, so that's all priority number nine. We'll get that done. We'll get that done fairly quickly. Why is no one taking this massively expensive tube that I've, uh, that I've built. And let's get that uh, that knocked away as well. Okay, cool. So, where's the nearest power grid? I, I tell you what, if we could get this power grid connected up to this power grid down here, that would be that would be a pretty darn good event. That would be a pretty darn good event. So we could get a large power transformer, and it can be limited to 4 kilowatts, and then this thing can carry 2 kilowatts. Uh, input wire, yeah, must be connected to a power wire. The conductive wire takes two kilowatts, but I want to take one kilowatt. I want this conductive wire, heavy watt conductive wire. No, not, not super bothered about heavy watt conductive wire. What is the point? What is the point of this four thingy? Connects the batteries on the large head exit valve and prevent wires from drawing more than four kilowatts. Yeah, uh, but I, I mean, I need conductive wires, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna absolutely do that. Yeah, this thing can take twenty though. Again, not really seeing the whole, the whole point of this, 
large pirate transformer. I'm probably just missing something strikingly obvious, though. Uh, let's just put in another power transformer right over here. Right over there. Grand. Let's get a heavy watt wire plate in the here. Right in there. In fact, no, this is just good. This is just getting, this is just getting messy. Hold up. Cancel both of those things. And, I mean, we need to redo the whole power area. I just, I'm dreading doing it because it's going to take so much stuff offline that I don't really want to think about it. Okay. Good. Why is that not working? That'll work right there. Great. Happy days. Okay. And cancel that heavy watt wire. I don't think that this heavy watt wire joint plate is going to... Is going to interfere with that power cable that's uh, that's uh, that's traveling underneath that, but I guess we'll see in a in a minute, right? Okay, and then some conductive wire, conductive wire made out of iron. Sure, let's go for this. I mean, this thing can take two kilowatt hours. We might decide to upgrade this transformer at some point anyway. Conductive wire bridge. Yep. That in there, grand, and then we'll just sort of try and bring it right up the tube. If we bring it up the tube, I'm not really sure that we can go wrong. Okay. Uh, and then... We kind of just want to link up to... This network over here. The problem if, is, if we link up to this network here and then we put more than a thousand kilovolts into this network, then this network is all going to get entirely damaged. Well, we're not going to put a thousand, more than a thousand kilowatts in at this point, which is important to note. So we're just going to leave that there for now, but with the ex expectation that we're going to have to, at some point, upgrade, upgrade that network. All right. That's going to be a significant amount of iron, presumably, that we used up for that. Although it didn't look like didn't look like it was too much. It's only 25. Only 25 little bits of iron. Which is fine. Once again, a little bit of a food shortage. That's okay. That's okay. We're, we're working on solving that. We're working on solving that problem. And that's what matters, right? That is what matters. Right. Have any of you guys uh, got an egg? An egg? Anyone, anyone laid an egg? Anyone laid an egg? You're a bit glum. Needs aren't being met. What are your needs? I don't think you got any needs, do you? Also, are you over the temperature? Oh, you're over the temperature. You're over the temperature. You're still you're still a, a larva, but that's okay. Your temperature is also similarly hot. The molten larva egg is increasing. That's great. There's a six percent chance that we get an egg. Not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself, Governor. Very, very good, in fact. Okay, heavy watt wire. Let's get that all done. That's great. Doesn't look like it interferes. Looks like it's a two different circuits, which is great. Cool. Uh, the problem is, though, is unbelievably, it looks like we are not producing anywhere near enough power. So I'm actually going to have to, against all expectations, get a... get another... Another one of these bad boys. All right. Deconstruct that. Get that constructed over there. And get a ladder access hatch down the side. There we go. All right. That's all priority nine because that is all a pretty, pretty darned important thing to do. Get some copper ore. Put that over there. All right. Let's see how that works. Okay. Do I need to set up some more frost buns to be made? I think I do. Yeah. Let's do that. And let's see how this uh, let's see how this goes. I think every one of these wires should be reachable, but there may be the case there may be some occasions where where that's just not possible. Okay. It says you're idle, but in fact, you're not idle. There's just not enough power coming through. All right. That's fine. 
we'll fix that. We'll fix that in time. As I say, once we bring on the uh, the other natural gas generator, we should be totally fine. What are you doing? You're you're idle. Um, you can't get out of here. Is that because of the heavy joint plate? It is indeed. Oh, that's a that's a bit of a problem right there. Yeah, did not anticipate that. Okay, get that queued up for deconstruction. Um, I think I, I do have a solution, though. My solution is... My solution is I make this a wire bridge. And I get rid of that wire. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the wire bridge reconnected, and then this just comes under there like so. Pretty much as easy as that. And then we're going to rebuild that ladder right over there, because that is also quite important. All right, looking good. I mean, apart from the fact that there is a little bit of a food shortage right now, 6,000 6, calories is just not enough, though. I mean, that's still enough for tomorrow. It's just, It's just not much more than much enough. Which is fine. That's okay. I like a challenge. Okay, no collisions yet. Looks like everything has been taken care of. That can go right over there. Grand. And that will protect our... That will protect our ladders. Which means that we're not going to have to to worry about uh, about this happening. We also need to set up a uh, oxygen pump. Uh, now, I'm going to try putting a gas pipe... Just over there, just to see what the effect is when uh, when oxygen comes into into contact with space. And then I'm going to set up an insulated pipe all the way over here. And I'm actually going to use this oxygen. I'm going to use this oxygen right here. Great. Yeah, because that's at least going to give us some use for this oxygen. As opposed to just wasting it, throwing it into the void. I mean, the oxygen pressure over here is, I mean, substantial, honestly. And it's quite, quite reasonably, quite reasonably, reasonably temperatured oxygen. I mean, it's not, not perfect, but it's not, it's not bad. Alright, that's fine. I think everything everything's fine at the moment, apart from the fact that we've not got any power over here. That's less than ideal, but, I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, I've tried to submit a bioscan over here, and it just doesn't seem to work. I, I don't know why I haven't prioritized this before, but I just, I just haven't. Okay, uh, oxygen generation is not in a good place at the moment. Why is this not working? It's, uh... It's a temperature issue. And none of the none of the oxygen is being cooled down enough to to go through here. I see. Right, let's swap that over to above. Swap that over to above. Just get some of this oxygen out of here, at least for now. Yeah, 30 degree oxygen. I mean I'm not super happy about that to be honest, but kind of is what it is. Right, we need to absolutely upgrade our absolutely upgrade our food production. How are my dust caps doing over here? They're actually not doing too badly. They're priority seven, so that's good. They're growing, they're growing slowly but surely. Only a couple are having issues with polluted oxygen, so that's great. I'm really happy with that actually. That was a uh, an important an important sort of bit of infrastructure which I think is is easy to overlook it's easy to overlook your food and then suddenly you're just you know you're you're caught completely unawares pinch of pepper nut that's actually looking pretty darn nice pretty happy about that that's looking good anyone laid an egg yet anyone an egg anyone slickster you are 96 degrees Celsius and you are oh yes 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 you're getting there Okay, good. Um, let me have a think about this. I want to... I want to put more carbon dioxide into here. The problem is... We need to link that back up. And we need to put in a high-pressure gas vent right over 
there. And that needs to come down over there. This insulated gas pipe needs to be deconstructed. And then what I also want to do is I also want to put in a door right over there. Which apparently I can't do. I'll need to deconstruct that manually. The point is that I want to put a door in here so that we can have uh, some of the oxygen just flow into this uh, flow into this zone right over here. Right, that's all priority nine. I really need to stop priority nining stuff because we got a lot of priority nine stuff to be worked on at the moment, and it's all quite important, quite important, but quite important for different reasons. Yeah. All right. Well, keep on keep on doing great work, everyone. Okay, frost buns. That's fine. We're we're slowly but surely getting there. Let's make some make some omelets as well. Raw egg. Yeah, get some raw eggs. Nice. Oh, look, the draclet grew up. Oh no, it's not. It's still a tiny baby. But uh, it. I mean, it looks fine. I guess. Looks like it's going going well. <laughs> great. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know what's the how do you talk about Drecklets? I have absolutely no idea. It says that this is area, this is unreachable. I think it's primarily because yeah, it is all unreachable. How is that unreachable? Is it this area? That area looks reachable. Yeah, cancel that deconstruction. Is it? Is it here? It all looks it all looks imminently reachable to me. Yeah. Okay. So oxygen oxygen generation hasn't been so hot the last uh, the last cycle. Right. We're just gonna have to settle for whatever temperature we can get. Really, I think. We've not got we've not got enough water. We've not got enough water coming out of here, which is it's a real problem. It's a real problem. I feel like we could be using, we could be using this water that we're just using here as a as a radiator, as opposed to just relying on it, uh, relying on uh, water past a certain water mark here and just pumping it away with the mini with the mini pump. But that would require some some changes, and I don't really want to commit to doing those changes at a time where I feel like we're we're at a little bit of a moment, right? Everything could very very swiftly go wrong if we don't just sort of get a bunch of this stuff done. Pretty quickly, mind you. I do want to continue to do this because if we don't do that, then I feel like we're not going to have uh, have made enough progress this episode. Yeah, so you're you're over there. Oh god, maybe I start. Maybe I stop setting the bar so low. Maybe I bump it up to like ten degrees. Yeah. This isn't a particularly cold room, though. That's the problem. It's not a particularly cold room. Yeah, so if I increase it to 10 degrees, that might make just a, a slight difference. Yeah, we have new printables available. Give me some food. No. I mean, I want food because otherwise I'm going to have I'm going to have problems a little bit, am I? Okay, we got a little bit of carbon dioxide coming in here. That's great. Let's get that over there. Let's get that opened. So let's try and flood this area with a little bit of carbon dioxide. Okay, that needs to be up to priority nine. Yeah, there's still a little bit of carbon dioxide in here. It's just not enough to... Not enough to be happy about. Okay. Ah, uh, well, good stuff. All right, we're slowly but surely getting there. Slowly but surely getting there. All of the insulated gas pipes are being built first. I have I have absolutely no idea why that's the case. Also, some of the conductive wires up here have already been built. That's good, but I mean, it's funny, I guess. Very funny. Right, why are we not exporting hydrogen into the hydrogen generator? Let's deconstruct that so that we try and redirect the flow of this gas into the hydrogen uh, into the hydrogen generator because if we do that then that sort of solves our problem 
with this little dude over here. Because uh, at the moment, he's, he has to do quite a lot. Right, that is priority nine. So that's going to be done in a little bit. Priority eight that, priority eight that. Can you not just get in the... Can you not just get in the... This thing. The whole point of having this thing here was that it would be quicker to get from one end to the other end. There's no point in keeping it all pumped up if it doesn't work. Okay, removing that pipe did indeed seem to, to make the difference. So this should hopefully mean that we're going to be continually feeding this uh, feeding this anti-entropy thermonullifier with hydrogen, which is very, very good. It means that we're going to cool down as quick as we absolutely positively can, which I'm very, very happy about. Oxygen production is fine. Uh, base is getting a little bit hot again, but that's okay. That's okay. It's, it's fine for now. It's fine. I'm, I can I can just about live with it. Just about live with it for now. Just about, mind you. It will it will become problematic at some point. Okay, lots and lots of carbon dioxide over here. Let's get this opened up. Here we go. And keep splurging out the oil. Yes, please. Any day of the week. Okay, good. The transit tube is working completely as I want it to. That's great. And that should mean that everything just works that little bit smoother. Okay, good. I tell you what, we can plumb... We can plumb this into there as well. Hold up. Do I have access to any more iron? Any more refined iron? I thought we had loads of refined iron on the uh, on the surface. All right, whatever. Good. Hydrogen at 32. Okay. Water is cooling down. Let's set the bar a little bit lower again. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to compromise. I don't want to compromise the heat of this area right over here. We've still got the ice, which is cooling things down a little bit. Not making much of a difference, but it is at least something. That's good. Uh, do we need to do any? Mining to ensure that this area remains water-free. I don't think we do. I think that's fine. Pleasant chit-chat. Okay, now we're making some progress. This is really good. It's all hooked up. That's priority nine as well. Okay, so most of the most of the pipe is done. In fact, the entirety of the pipe is done. So now we are pretty much just waiting for all of the wires to get done. How is this area so naturally gassed? It's because, it's because this thing gives off natural gas, which I consistently forget about. Uh, I mean, the, the solution to that is that we put it in the same room as the natural gas geyser. I mean, it's a bit of a faff to get organized, but I think that that's what we're eventually going to move towards. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think it is. Looks like power, the power situation has sort of semi-rectified itself, at least for now. This whole area is completely unreachable, and I just cannot understand for the life of me why. That area is obviously unreachable. That area is unreachable as well. It shouldn't be, though. It should be... That area is unreachable, okay. Is any of this reachable? Is it because of this lump of clay that's chilling out over there? I think that it might be that singular lump of clay. I guess we're kind of lucky in a sense that nothing went wrong with the power generation area. Oh my goodness, it's a it's pokey shell spawn. Look at how cute that is. That is adorable. That is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely adorable. That is just uh, too cute. Too cute. Okay, it looks like that was indeed the... 
little area that was holding us back. That's fine. Let's get this area built. Let's get a uh, let's get a brand new natural gas generator up and running. We're going to need more storage. We, we need much more natural gas storage than this. We also need to get better at capturing our natural gas as opposed to just letting it uh, sort of just exist over a wide area. Okay, yeah, reduced visibility. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I want to get this. I want to get this area. I want to get this area up and running by uh, by the end of today's episode. I think we can do it, to be honest. I mean, well, theoretically, we can do it if we if we go on forever. Okay, that's all looking real good. Awaiting iron ore. That's fine. Tell you what, we're also going to need to get a input pipe and an output pipe. All, of course, adequately prioritized. Just delete that, to be honest. Not really necessary. Alright, tell you what, my dupes are absolutely lightning at construction now. They really are. They're really doing great. I should probably do something about this water. The fact that we've got so much water over here. Yeah, I mean, that's all steam, you know? That's all steam. Oh, a colony achievement. Fantastic. What is this? Block a meteor from hitting your base using a bunker door. Okay, well, I didn't realize that it happened, but I guess it's happened. We've done it. It successfully, it successfully worked. Oh my goodness. What do you know? How much, how much is that? 8.3 kilograms? That's fine. I mean, look, it's protected. The area is protected anyway. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Oh. Goodness gracious me, bright and cheerful? Well, I'm glad somebody's bright and cheerful. Didn't realize that uh, that it was that that it was that dangerous. Right, is uh it looks like the chlorine is just sort of flitting out to space. Whoa, are you what if you get hit by a meteor? You gotta be careful, dude. You gotta be real careful. Right, it says that we're out of iron. But I thought we had way more iron than that. I thought we had like 22,000 kilograms of uh, of iron. I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, is it uh, perhaps been covered up down here? Yeah, 3,000 grams. Ah, I see what the problem is. I I found the issue. I found the issue. This is this is totally fine. Uh, we'll get that, we'll get that all fixed up, and I tell you what, we'll even get a backup ladder down this way, so that we can stop that issue from arising once again. We've got sour gas down here, okay, that's cool. Pipe is blocked, why is the pipe blocked? Have we got too much? Too much crude oil? What? Oh, what did I... Don't tell me I deconstructed the wrong... <gasps> I deconstructed the wrong the wrong pipe. Okay, that is a non-issue, actually. As issues go, that's, that's, that's pretty close to being a non-issue. Okay, carbon dioxide is slowly but surely moving up into the area where we want it to be moving up to. That's great. I mean, there's 8 kilograms of pressure down there and only 1,000 kilograms of pressure down there, so... Uh, that, once again, will be happening slowly but surely. I want to connect this area via, um, via pipe at some point, via transport pipe, but I think that that's going to be somewhat later down the line. That's a copper volcano over there, which is, which probably has been active at some point. Can I, what do we have down here? What materials, what are the natural building materials down here? Igneous rock? Igneous rock is that, uh, that resource that you get when you melt whatever it is, regular rock, and it turns into, uh, no, it's lava, magma. That's the stuff, when you melt magma and turn it back into, back into rock. Or cool it back down, should I say. Okay, hopefully that gets done at some point today. We've got two people on route down there. Lots and lots of plastic production, that's great. I care more about making sure that our uh, our iron production is 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 happening is working that's great tell you what it would be great if i could get some uh it would be great if i could get some sort of automated collection process for these uh for these volcanoes 
But I'm probably going to have to deal with that later. Okay, you've made a mess. What's wrong, Jasper? Are you stuck up here? You are indeed stuck, stuck up here. Right. This is happening, like, fairly frequently. Right. Right, prioritize this at priority nine, please. No, Jasper, you're gonna you're gonna die. You're gonna die, my dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't. Okay, cancel this. Yeah, you're gonna die. You need to. You need to get here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, new printables are available. What have we got? Let's get an oxy fern seed. Sure. Not strictly relevant, but that's okay. Fried mushrooms! Oh boy, oh boy. It sort of happened without us really noticing, but that's great. That's that's fantastic. Uh, we no longer really need to worry about our food anymore, which is grand. It's very, very good. Okay, how are we doing? Are you uh, progressing towards giving me the sort of egg that I want? 28%, you're 28%, what are you? You're 15%. So you could honestly do with being a little bit hotter, but that's okay. That's fine. As long as you're sort of, uh, you know, going around that area, then that's then that's perfect. Okay, good. So we should never have any issues with this area ever again. He says, of course, uh, fully, fully expecting to have future issues with this area again. That shouldn't be priority eight, uh, priority nine. There is no way that that deserves to be priority nine. Uh, we've now even got a, a brand new uh, sort of access ladder, which means that uh, our iron should always be counted in our supplies going forward. That's very, very good. How are we doing power-wise, uh, heat-wise? Very, very poorly, in fact. Very, very poorly. This is a full, a full-fledged uh, Draco now, which is fine. Okay, all of that crude oil is going to be stored up here, which is great. Right, that can be taken back down to a very, very much lower unimportant priority because it doesn't really need to be repaired at any point just now. Yeah, it's just mostly the iron delivery for the pipe. Uh, for the pipes, for the uh, for the wires that need to be done. The problem is that, that it's a very, very... Very, very long distance for them to come. There's a bit of iron over here. What if I, uh, what if I prioritize sort of something like this? Go on a little bit of an explore. How about that? Yeah. There we go. All right. Priority nine, all of that. Do we have any more steel? Also, there's a building entombment. Uh, queue that up for priority five. It's not not a major priority, but it'd be something good to do. Yeah, I'm just thinking if we can access a little bit more iron, then that would be great. There we go. Okay, don't even worry about that bit there. Okay, lots and lots of regolith. Is regolith actually useful for absolutely anything? I don't know if it is. Okay, a little bit of gold. That's good. Yeah, so the temperature of the telescope is pretty... pretty regular. Does this need to have a uh, drywall behind it? I don't think it does, but I might need to adjust that as we go. Okay, anyway, the point is that we're going after iron. 25 kilograms of iron. Chilling out over there. That's really good. Maybe we'll see a couple more asteroids hit the planet. And that will uh, that'll keep us just right. Right. How is the oil refinery actually being operated at 6%? Uh, sorry, not at 6%. At, uh, at 6. At 6. At six, at six, at priority number six. Why is that happening? I don't, I don't think it should be. Right. You are 71%, 32% chance of a molten egg. That's real good. And you've got a 19% chance. All right, we're definitely getting there. That's really, really good. Very, very happy about that. That's real good. 
we're doing fine for oxygen production now, but that's because I sort of sacrificed a little bit of the a little bit of the heat. Yeah. I'm not not super happy about this whole situation, I must confess. At least we've got uh, a whole bunch of oxygen cooling happening over there. That's good. What else? I mean, other than other than this massive massive old uh massive old cable that needs to be built. We're fine. Oh my goodness. Banana nut, you are Oh. That was altogether too close. I mean, can my dupes die from this? I've got to assume the answer is yes. But What have you got? You got sunburn? Oh. It gives you a bunch of extra stress. Well, that's kind of cool. Right, yeah, you guys go go to go to bed. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a dangerous world out there. Right, what how how is their meat up here? Is that like are they eating aliens? Uncooked meat from a very dead critter? Yeah, no, I get it. It's from a it's from a, a mole, a, a shrove mole, a, sh a shrove vole. You know, you know the things that I'm talking about. That's what it's from, but don't quite know why it's happening like that. Okay, uh, I need to, I need to, I need to see. I mean, I need to get more water. I need to get more water, but it needs to be water at a very, very decent temperature. Okay, here's a plan. Here's a plan. Is there any pool of water, polluted water specifically? That it that is at a low temperature. I mean, there might be there might be three degrees Celsius up here. I mean, yeah, somewhere up here, sort of what I'm after. No, I mean that's fifteen degrees Celsius. No, but the problem is, is that I really feel genuinely uh, this is a very very hot map. Uh, I mean, I've I've, I've played a, a you know a good bit of of oxygen not included in my day. What's the temperature? Yeah, so that's not super high over there. I played a good bit of oxygen not included in my day, and this definitely seems like it's the, the hottest map, if you'd like. That's not to say that it's not impossible. I mean, obviously we are, uh, we're coping. But it would just be, I feel, a heck of a lot, uh, a heck of a lot easier if we had, uh, if we, well, first of all, if we started at least a little bit further away from, like, scorching, scorching, Scorching hot rocks. I'm really not sure why this area is so darn hot, but uh, yeah, a real issue. A real issue right there. A real, real issue. <laughs> Turns out being next to something hot is uh, is difficult to deal with. Who would have thunk, eh? All right, should we make some barbecues? Make some barbecues forever. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to grow out all my sleet wheat because, I mean, then we'll have then we'll have issues. But I suspect that honestly, once this area is up and running, or in fact, it, it I mean, it is up and running right now, it's its all going to work totally fine. It's all good. It's all looking very, very good. You've got sunburn as well. How can just install a... Has everyone got sunburn? Goodness gracious me. Okay, 123 kilograms of refined iron. Right, cancel all this. This is not necessary. Okay. How are you guys... How are... How are you guys surviving out here? How... Injuries severe. It does say duplicate, but it's not actually a duplicate. Alright, not entirely sure how that's happening. All right, but the point is that all of this iron should be, all of this, uh, all of this iron should be accessible from over here now. Can I put up like a? What have we got? We've got magfic rock, mafic rock. Can I make this stuff out of mafic rock? There we go. We'll give it a shot, shall we? Oh, look at, look at Kyle. Kyle doing the stuff that needs to be done. 
What a hero. Uh, are we up and running with the natural gas generator yet? We are indeed. Uh, we have yet to install the appropriate automation devices, though. So... Yeah, so this guy is just working sort of full out. I guess that's okay in a sense. It's not necessarily uh, too much of a problem to have all of them, uh, to have two of them sort of being controlled and then one just sort of constantly pumping. But, I mean, it's not exactly ideal. Yeah, so we'll install the automation wire over there. Perfect. Uh, heat is going to be the next issue in the base. Again, it's going to rear its ugly head. I mean, already we've got heat issues. Uh, I want to redo the sort of cooling apparatus that we've got over here. It's it's fine for now, but I think it will need to be redone. I want to uh, I want to figure out for myself firstly how uh, how space interacts with uh, cooling and heating things. But for now, I really just want to gosh darn get this get this area properly properly powered up. And, I mean, it is all prioritized appropriately. But it just ain't working. It just ain't working. Which is a darned nuisance. Okay, let's prioritize that at priority 8 so that we don't end up doing this uh, as a matter of priority. We can sort of uh, afford to take a little bit of a chill pill with that. How much crude oil have we got over here? 22 kilograms. That's great. You are progressing 25% towards a... There we go. Prioritize that slightly higher. And this should still count as a room, I believe. Yeah, a stable. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so you are 23% towards, towards an egg. And you're 37%, 37% chance to give me exactly what I'm after. Great. How has my cursor changed? It's changed to something else. <laughs> What's going on? Why is... Uh, I've now got a clicky pointy finger thing. What's this? What's this all about? Has this always been like this? I'm pretty sure I'm not going crazy, right? Oh, look, it's back. What happened? Where, where did the clicky pointer thing go? All right. Not sure why why that happened, but hey ho. Okay, yeah. So now we're advancing rapidly uh, to to the next egg, which is great. We've already got something in the incubator. Now this is cramped. I don't like the fact that this area is cramped. This area is, I think, a slight bit too small. Yeah. Can I expand this room just a little bit? I think I can probably put. Yeah, get that over there. And that there, that there, that there. Yeah, sure. See if we can expand the room just slightly. Prioritize that at priority number seven. Really doesn't need... Really doesn't need to be done that urgently. Pat juice or salt water. I'll take salt water, to be honest. We don't have any sort of uh, salt water refining process at the moment. Uh, probably fine, to be honest. We don't really have that much of a need for salt water. Or just water in general, we don't really have a need for. Okay, you know what? Just delete that. Can't believe that sunburn is a thing in this, in this video game. Of all of the things to have happen to people living underground, sunburn. What a, what a cruel, cruel twist of fate. Yeah, I just I don't know how to I don't know how to compel anyone to work to work faster. They're all They're all working as fast as they possibly can. It's just not fast enough. All right, mushrooms and slimes, that's all being delivered. That's good. I could probably move this across just a smidgen more. Tell you what, I do want to try and get uh plastic ladders. I am interested very much in plastic ladders. Right, this area is still looking good. We're still pumping up a bunch of crude, which is great. Absolutely no issues with the well as of yet, which is fantastic. 
lots and lots of crude, 850 kilograms of crude over there. Uh, I mean, to be honest, the whole idea of this to, you know, using the water to sort of cool it down seems to be working on the whole. Don't think I can really complain too much. Starvation. You can't find food. Uh, there is food around. There's 53 kilograms of fried mushrooms. Looks like you've been zoned towards food. Okay, this water is heating up to 17.6 degrees Celsius. Yeah, um... Yeah. What's the temperature of the toilets? The temperature of the toilets is actually quite reasonable. I'm just thinking, could I really... Could I get away with just sort of linking this up and using this water to, like, extract heat from here? I don't know if I could. The problem is that I don't have enough water now. I'm very, very limited with the amount of water that I've actually got. Which I'm distinctly... Distinctly conscious could, uh, could undo us. Yeah, lack of water definitely could be the problem. But polluted water vent, what temperature? Polluted water at 30 degrees Celsius. I mean, 30 degrees Celsius is, is, is nice. But I think, given the surroundings, it might heat up to slightly above 30 degrees Celsius. Oh, well, I say that. This area is quite cool. It's quite chill at the moment. Okay. It's good. Come on. Why is no one why is no one building why is no one building wires? Is it because I don't have the resources? Is that the problem? I mean I do have the resources. Yeah, look, twenty nine twenty nine thousand bits of iron. Oh come on, we're just so close. We're so close to being there, folks. Just get me across the line so I can so I can finally, 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 finally get my planetarium, uh, not my planetarium, my, uh, my telescope up and running. I don't even know. Should I build a planetarium? I'll build a planetarium. How about that? Uh, data from telescopes and using research modules. Uh, um, presumably, it'll need to be built somewhat near the telescope. Sure. Get that dug out. Priority five. Priority nine. What is this thing? It's 400, 400 kilograms of copper ore. That's fine. I don't know why we're going to put the... Uh, I don't know why we need to put it so close together, but apparently we do. Oh my goodness. Well, look, there you go. That's more iron for you. We're farming this iron. It's great. Yeah, we do need to replace all of this surface with steel. Otherwise, we are never, ever going to see any peace from uh, from asteroids. We're always going to have issues. Yeah. Is it that there's just too little iron? I mean, it is very, very slight amounts of iron each time, but... Right, hold on. I think maybe, maybe let me prioritize somewhat differently. So... Is there, is there, it's building, yeah, building. I don't really have anyone that's prioritized on building. Like, let me put everyone on building a little bit. So at least I feel everyone has a slight obligation to build stuff. So when I say build, you guys build, how about that? I mean, obviously the litmus test will be tomorrow. But that's okay. Tomorrow is a tomorrow is a different day, and that's okay. Now I believe one of our dudes is sick. Yeah, banana. Nah, you've got a little bit of a well, a little bit of an issue. I don't actually know what your issue is. I think it might just be that you were scalded. I remember in the last episode, sort of, well, ages and ages ago, actually, right down at the the very bottom of the world, you uh, you got pretty darn hot. Right, how do we get water in here? Ah, I see. A little tiny bit of water has leaked in there. That's fine. Oh, goodness. This is incredible. This is incredible. It's 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 working. Right, Kyle's going to tend to banana. That's great. 
should mean that everyone should prioritize building now, now that I've changed the priorities. There we go. Look at that. Okay, that works a heck of a lot better than uh, it once did. Okay, planetarium. Let's get the power connected up. Beautiful. I mean, I know my real issue is the fact that I... Uh, that I just... <laughs> That I just use priority nine like a uh, like a sort of high priority a high priority build. I should probably use like priority six or priority seven uh, as that. Okay, so now we should be able to build all of the orange research stuff, or be able to research all of the orange research stuff. Steam engine research module uh, gantry and a command capsule. Very very cool stuff indeed. That's gonna make a big old a uh, big old. Big old dent in our research very, very soon. Okay, natural gas is... Oh, there's too much natural gas in here. <laughs> Far too much natural gas in here. Uh, I need to get rid of this mesh tile. Maybe that'll fix the issue. Or maybe it won't. It probably will, though. I need to store more of the natural gas in uh, in these tanks. That is what I need to do. Okay, everyone is picking up iron from the very bottom of the world and then running it up to here, which is great. Oh, no, they're picking up fossils. Why is... I really don't don't understand why this isn't happening. I, I, I genuinely don't. This is very confusing. Very confusing to me right now. Right, you're, you're a high-stress individual, banana. That's okay. Okay, there is iron down here. I mean, there is a lot of iron down here. This is what I was meaning about perhaps setting up a uh, an auto sweeper. I don't know what the overheat temperature is. 75 degrees Celsius? Oh boy. Okay, so that is that is like a no-go. I mean, no. I mean, it, the maximum that I could get it up to is like 125 degrees Celsius. If I used the right metal. But even that is nowhere near enough. Insufficient oxygen generation. That's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, is that because we don't have enough water? No, it's not. It's because... Our oxygen is not being forced out into the base fast enough. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. I can just about cope with that. Can we kill this Draco? There we go. There we go. We got some meat. That was at least somewhat worth it, right? Okay, well, I'm disappointed that no one is building this uh, building this cable quicker, unfortunately. Uh, do we have oxygen over here? We do indeed have oxygen over here. It's slowly but surely happening. Uh, what I want to do is put in a... Not a liquid bridge. Wrong thing. Okay, I'm going to do one more cycle, then we'll see what is in store. We'll do that right there, and then we'll connect this up here. Uh, deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. Priority 9. All of this stuff. Okay, so that way uh, we should be able to, to run a little bit of an experiment. We'll see exactly what happens to the gas as it, uh, well, as it as it goes outside, as it goes into space. It is the vacuum, it is space exposure. Yeah, as I say, I think that I think that uh, when using space to cool stuff down, I think you need to use temp shift plates in order to get it all uh, appropriately radiated. Right, let's get that gas pipe deconstructed as well. Okay. Right, so it's coming out, it's about... 52 degrees Celsius. I mean, I guess we'll see properly in just a second. All right. Slowly but surely, it's coming together. It's coming together. Okay, so it should only really be oxygen that comes through here, but it might not be. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Aha! What did we get? We got another colony achievement. That's two colony achievements in one episode. That's pretty darn good. Okay, reach a cycle of 365.25 with a single colony. 
Don't mind if I do. That is pretty darn good. Okay, there is one little bit of polluted oxygen in here. But that's okay. Okay, so the leading bit of oxygen is at 38 degrees Celsius. Let's have a little look at what that is. Yeah, so it definitely cools down. It definitely cools down, and that's a good thing. All right, so there is going to be a slight bit of wrong element damage, but that's okay. That's fine. Okay, everyone is uh, fine for stress apart from Bananana. That's okay. We could get some massage beds, and we probably will get some massage beds at, uh, at some point. But now is not the time for massage beds. Now is the time for interplanetary research. Okay, lots and lots of conductive wires. It's happening. Let's get this zoned out. Uh, can we make steel? We can indeed make steel. We should probably put that over there. Is that even reachable? Sure, do that. And it says, insufficient resources steal 100 kilograms. I mean, we should have the resources. I thought we did. We do indeed. Okay, so it looks like it is indeed happening. All right, great. We're like five or six wires to go. Look at that. There's like three wires over there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, eleven little bits of iron to go. Can you believe how unbelievably close we are? I, for one, cannot. It's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Okay, steel. We're working on the steel. That's great. That's just going to sort of uh, rumble on in the background. We don't really need to worry about it. Right. Damage is overloading on the circuit. Um... That's not so that's not so good. I didn't think that this issue would happen right now. Uh, I thought that it would happen, but I thought that it would happen at some point later on. That ain't so good. Okay, let's set this up as a priority eight thing to do. There we go. Let's just get it all completely redone. If we redo it, then there's going to be sort of no issues with overheating. Conductive wire, yeah, cancel that. Okay, that's good. And as I say, that's all. It's all priority five. Honestly, priority five is probably okay. We'll just there's no there's no super uh, important reason as to why it needs to be done. Five hundred kilograms of plastic or a bunch of fertilizer. I'm going to take the plastic. Plastic is going to help, presumably, make pipes in the future, which is quite nice. Okay, you're going to go and take a trip down and pick up the iron. I mean, we could process more iron up here. However, there is a slight issue with regards to the fact that, uh, yeah, we don't have any vestibule to collect the excess coolant from this area. Yeah, it's not a great situation to be in, uh, but it's all right. It's fine. Okay, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Come on, I wanna, I wanna at least get this telescope operational. But alas, it feels like we're not gonna be able to do it in this episode. I mean, we're one hour and twenty minutes in, and I thought, I thought that my dupes were gonna be able to do it, but apparently they're not, they're not able to. That's disappointing. I'm deeply disappointed. Deeply, deeply disappointed. It's because they have to travel such a long way, right? It's because they have to travel such a long way. I mean, I feel like I can, I can change that up. I can, uh, I can make it, make it a heck of a lot quicker in the future. But obviously, at the moment, we just want them to get, we just want them to get the iron up. We just want them to get the iron up. I want to get sort of a a, a, a sweeping, uh, a sweep, a sweep transportation system. That would be that'd be good. But uh, hold up, what? Where did these guys go? What the heck? Where did these guys go? Is it... Was it too hot? How did these guys die? What? They didn't age out. One of them laid an egg. I didn't close the door on them, presumably, did I? 
it surely can't have got too hot. Right. I mean, that's a problem. That's a, a good old-fashioned problem if I if I ever saw one. Okay. So that should make it a little bit bigger. Will that allow you to... Yeah, that'll allow us to get three in there. That's pretty darn good. Okay. Uh, if I deconstruct that building, are you going to be allowed out of your... Out of your little area? I think that you will be. Okay. Are we up and running? Is the power cable finished? I think it is. I think the power cable is indeed finished. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It happened at long last. It happened. Okay, that's great. So, let's use this. Priority 9. Let's get this done. Priority 9. Let's get this done. Priority 9. So, it is in fact reachable. Okay, great. Let's open that. And let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get this area set up just quickly. Boy, oh boy. I can't believe it worked. I cannot believe it worked. Truly a remarkable day. Okay, so that goes there. Uh, we'll make it out of copper, sure. And then we're going to need to connect it up to the power network. Great. And then, in fact, you know what? No, make it out of copper. Make that out of copper just so that we are guaranteed to have the resources up nearby. Okay, good. And then automation wire. Automation wire, copper. Great. Okay, that all becomes priority nine right now. Priority nine, priority nine. Great. I mean, that's okay. That's fine. That's great. Priority nine. Let's just get this whole area dug out. Sure. Don't mind if I do. There we go. That's what the pipe's for. This is working. Oh my goodness. What do you know? Get this thing opened. Get this thing opened. Someone open this. Yeah, there was a wrong element, but that's okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, and also... Uh, what? Okay, so this carbon asteroids, was that it? We discovered it super quickly? Okay, I mean, I don't know what happens next, but that's it. There's carbon asteroids right there. That's cool, at least. Um, I sort of wanted to see... What more could be done? I mean, we're going to need to do some more research. We're absolutely going to need to do some more research in the next episode. Okay. Okay, hold up. So, meteor showers, if there are indeed meteor showers, this door is, door is locked. Okay, sure. Door is locked, and then... We need to go on to the automation overlay. So, sends automation signal. Sends a green signal to its automation circuit when it in when it detects incoming objects. Okay, so... So, at the moment, it should be showing a red signal, which means that we have the wrong signal, which means that we need a not gate. Right over here. We need to deconstruct this wire, this automation wire right in there. Priority 9. I think this is what we need to do anyway. Okay. And then that needs to go in there like so. Okay. And let's priority 9 all of that. Okay. So, is it literally just a case of exploring... Wow. Okay. This telescope is... I feel it's OP, actually. There's 9% visibility, but... I mean, that seems to be working in an absolutely fine fashion. Yeah, the telescope is indeed idle. That is that is a bit of a problem. Okay, uh, the circuit might be overloading, but... 
it's not my circuit, which is which is important. That's great. Uh, I think that there will be problems later on down the line, probably over here, but only barely, only when a couple of things are, are sort of working at the same time. Ah, 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 ah. This is, the, okay, this is exactly what, this is exactly what we want. This is exactly what we want. So we want a green, we want a green signal when there is no stuff in the sky. And when there is an incoming meteor shower, then it is going to send a green signal. That green signal is going to be turned into a red signal in the not gate. And then that is going to lead to the bunker door closing. That works like a dream. Very, very happy with that. Okay, I think that that's a pretty darn good place to wrap things up. I mean, it's it's small, but it is a start, and it's uh, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way that things are going at the moment. Uh, other than the fact that we are, I mean, well, desperate for more water. But uh, apart from that, apart from that, everything's fine. Everything is totally fine. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. We're going to fix that in the next episode. We're going to get rid of some heat in the next episode. We're going to start getting some uh, some big old tur turbines in the next episode. Mark my words, folks. It's going to be wonderful. I'll see you there. Uh, my name, of course, has been Obed Potato. This has been Oxygen Not Included. I do hope uh, you've uh, you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks to uh, thanks to the Patreons over on patreon.com forward slash Obed Potato who, uh, who, make, uh, who make this series possible. It's very much appreciated. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye.